Friends, I have a very cool video to share with you of how Tesla FSD demonstrates its incredible progress in tight construction zone. Welcome back everyone. This is Armin Haryan with a very viral interesting video with you that is being viewed by many people. A recent video posted to Twitter shows Tesla's full self-driving beta software navigating a construction zone with very tight space. Look at that video. The video which was posted by Tesla owners Silicon Valley shows a Tesla Model 3, I think it's a Model 3, equipped with FSD beta driving through a construction zone where workers are cutting down branches. The car is able to maneuver through the tight space without any problems, even as the workers move around the car. The video has met has been met actually with a lot of praise from Tesla enthusiasts who are impressed with the progress that FSD beta has made. Some people have even commented that the video is insane and that shows how far FSD, Tesla's full self-driving, has come. Of course, there are still some people who are skeptical of FSD beta. They point out that the car is still in beta and that is not perfect. However, the video shows that FSD beta is making significant progress and that it is becoming more capable of handling challenging driving situations. In fact, recently, actually today, Tesla CEO Elon Musk reiterated in Europe once again that the company is close to solving autonomy while highlighting the automaker's efforts and what they mean to its valuation. He said, although I've said this before, I think we will solve autonomy soon. Musk said um, on uh, Friday, uh, uh, speaking at the Vivatec conference in Europe. Friends, it will be interesting to see how Tesla FSD beta continues to develop in the future. If it continues to make progress at this rate, it could eventually become a viable alternative to human driving and going to level five. So here are some comments from that tweet. Truly insane to see how far FSD has come, one person says. Another person says, nice, but were you pressing the accelerator? Um, I think no, because if it's FSD, it does itself. And another person says, I was driving with FSD the other day with some obstacles and my Tesla handled them without a problem. So what I make of this friends, the video of Tesla FSD beta navigating a construction zone with very tight space is a clear demonstration of the progress that Tesla's software has made so far. It is still in beta, but it is becoming more capable of handling challenging driving situations like these tight spaces. It will be interesting to see how FSD beta continues to develop in the future. Let me know, friends, what do you think about Tesla's progress with its full self-driving beta software? This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. God bless you and let's see our next story. The most recent sighting of Tesla Cybertruck clearly shows the steering wheel type because many people are wondering, is it going to be yoke or it's going to be a round steering wheel? Well, as of June 16, today, 2023, it is not yet confirmed whether the upcoming Tesla Cybertruck will have a yoke or a round steering wheel. However, there are some hints that Tesla may be considering offering both options. But in this fresh sighting of the Cybertruck, which surfaced online just hours ago from California and going viral now on Twitter, if you look closely, you will see a round steering wheel. Now, I have many reasons to believe that this is the final version of the Cybertruck. And while we don't know the final prices and specs of the Cybertruck, the steering wheel is going to be around. Otherwise, why would Tesla camouflage it, right? And in recent Tesla Cybertruck sightings, an unmistakable outline of a round steering wheel can be seen inside the Cybertruck prototype. This suggests that Tesla may be planning to offer a round steering wheel as an option for the Cybertruck in addition to the yoke style steering wheel that has been seen in previous prototypes. I said option because it is also worth noting that Tesla has offered both a yoke and round steering wheel option for the Model S and Model X. This suggests that Tesla is open to offering different steering wheel options for different vehicles depending on the preference of a Tesla vehicle buyer. Here are some of the pros and cons of each type of steering wheel friend. Yoke steering wheels pros. Takes up less space in cabin, can provide a more direct steering uh, feel, maybe more aerodynamic. The cons of the yoke is 
can be difficult to use for some maneuvers such as parallel parking may not be comfortable for long distance driving for some people now here are the pros and cons of the round steering wheel the pros of the round steering wheel are more traditional design more comfortable for long distance driving easier to use for some maneuvers and the cons for the round steering wheels for some people are it takes more up it takes up more space in the cabin and may not be as aerodynamic as the yoke anyway so i hope this helped friends but having said this i think ultimately it is still too early to say for sure what type of steering wheel will be offered on the cybertruck however the hint that tesla has dropped suggests that a round steering wheel may be an option this is armin harian from torquenews.com let me know what you saw here in the in the picture and if you agree with this and if you think tesla will offer round or uh, round steering wheel or a yoke steering wheel a new Cybertruck prototype was spotted driving on public roads in California on Thursday, June 14. The sighting was captured on video by Twitter user S.E. Robinson Jr., who followed the truck for a little while and showed us how Cybertruck really accelerates and drives. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan. This is the camouflaged version of the Cybertruck, which I assume is the final production version from Tesla. Otherwise, why would Tesla hide it under a camouflage right as you can see Cybertruck is loose on the streets of the silicon valley it's really cool to see the Cybertruck on the roads already tesla is testing getting ready this is i think the final production version here are a couple of observations about the Cybertruck about this video that i want to share with you still not seeing the red light tail bar but as one commenter notes under tesla blogger sawyer merritt's post it probably just turns on at night with the tail lights not used for a brake light since fall down with tailgate with when carrying oversized cargo also not the long grill matrix led headlights friends they are so cool others are however noting that cybertruck's tail lights are small what do you think about them let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i have to say that tesla has done a nice camouflage someone wrote that he can barely notice it's a cyber truck although to be honest i was quick you know noticing that this is a cyber truck i'm sure you are too what do you think the new sighting of cyber truck on public roads is a sign friends that the truck is getting closer to production it will be interesting to see how the truck performs in real world condition and how it is received by car buyers but the initial reactions are very positive now i think in the next few weeks or maybe who knows maybe next week tesla will release or should release cybertruck's specs i mean the final specs and pricing i will be looking forward to that what do you think the recent sighting of tesla cybertrucks under our roads a camouflaged version and this one captured by se robinson jr and shared on twitter has sparked immense excitement about tesla enthusiasts and automotive enthusiasts like the video provides a thrilling glimpse into the driving capabilities of this futuristic electric pickup truck from tesla showcasing its smooth acceleration and distinctive design as tesla cybertruck inches closer to production the anticipation and fascination surrounding the, its release continue to grow with each new sighting it becomes increasingly apparent that the cybertruck will indeed redefine the future of pickups and leave a lasting impact on the automotive industry as a whole. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please, friends, subscribe to this channel for daily breaking Tesla news and electric vehicle news. God bless you, and I'll see you soon in our next report.